Intruder is a team-based tactical stealth shooter thingy-mabopper, and like any game heavily relying on team play, a microphone is important to have. With the current version of the game, some USB microphones don't pick up any audio, and you're either reliant on all chat for your long-distance communication or snap signals for your close range. Ever since version 78 in June of 2017, I've had to rely on both of these things until about a year later, when I finally went down the rabbit hole of virtual cables. And for this, I have to explain exactly what a virtual cable is. In short, it's basically a second pair of headphones that can be used to play back any audio fed through it, and it's all 100% software-based and no extra hardware is needed for it. For this, you're going to need to go to the link in the description and download the file. Click Download, create a folder where you want to put the zip file, and extract it. If you have a 32-bit system, open the setup without the x64 suffix. If you do have a 64-bit system, open the file with the x64 suffix. If you don't know whether or not you have a 32-bit or 64-bit operating system, you can find out by pressing the Windows key, typing System Information, and looking for the line that says System Type. I have a 64-bit operating system, so I'll open the 64 setup. I already have it installed myself, but you'll click Install Driver, and after it's done with the main installation, you'll need to restart your computer to finish it. Click on the speaker in the bottom right corner, click Sounds, right-click on your microphone, Properties, click on Listen, check the box that says Listen to this device, open the drop-down box and select your virtual cable, and click Apply. Then go in-game and select the virtual cable as your input device. You'll finally be able to let the world hear your voice and whatever screams come along with it, and you'll finally be able to yell at Asper for being a drop-shotter. Have fun!